Why are people so interested in the future? What are their motives? Ever since the early cultures, people have striven to see, understand and have more of the future. We obviously can't help but look into the future. You become curious when something is different from what you know. You suspect that the future will be different than the present and therefore scenarios of the future have an almost magical attraction. People are driven to look into the future by five motives. First. You want to make better decisions. And that's why you want to know the probable future. You want to know what's coming, what's staying and what's going. That's why people used to go to the fortune tellers in the old days, and some still do. But today we have more professional methods for that. Everyone knows that the future cannot be predicted, but at the same time, no one can live without assumptions about the future. Every decision is based on assumptions about the future, consciously or unconsciously. The second motive, people want to feel safe. You want to feel safe. You want to avoid fear and anxiety. You want to be less surprised by the future. The Danish philosopher Søren Kierkegaard distinguished fear from anxiety. Anxiety has no identifiable cause. It is just the uncomfortable feeling that something could happen to you that could be harmful. Without you exactly knowing what it could be. And so you look around and look for signs of unpleasant and dangerous surprises. And on the other hand, you are afraid of a concrete event that would obviously harm you. At best, you try to learn more about the threat and prepare and in the worst case, as usual, you stick your head into the sand. That's fear. Number three, people want to develop. They want to make more of their lives. They want to be successful. They want to be happy. They strive for the beautiful feeling of hope and confidence. Therefore, they look for opportunities, for options, for chances to improve themselves and their situation. They want to have it better than now or better than the others. And sometimes you have the feeling that you need to improve yourself just to keep things as they are. Number four, people want to give their life and work a meaning and a direction. They want to know where they are going and what purpose the efforts of daily life serve. People want to feel hope. Therefore, they develop a vision of a desired future, of a better future in which they hope to find fulfillment. Number five, you want to do the right thing today for a better future. You want to act more future intelligently in order to make your vision come true. That's why you set goals, plan and realize projects and processes and move towards the future. These five future motives and goals are deeply rooted in every human being. They correspond exactly to the five futures glasses, as I call them. You can find these motives in many places. Immanuel Kant has been looking for answers to three questions throughout his philosophical work, in which we also recognize the five motives. What can I do? Here we recognize the person of knowledge about the probable future and the possible surprises. What can I hope for? Here we find the questions about opportunities and the vision. What should I do? This is clearly the question for the right action in the here and now in order to create a better future. 